Kimball. And I'm Marlene Kimball. And today in this video, we're going to show you a technique that we've developed for using the bags we sell, the poultry shrink bags we sell at poultryshrinkbags.com for packaging small poultry parts for the freezer. The bags are sized to package whole chickens, but now that Marlene and I are a little bit older and our kids are out of the house, we don't need whole chickens. So we part the chickens after we've raised them and processed them, and we put them into these uh, smaller packages like we're going to show you here. And we used to use a vacuum sealer for this, but the vacuum sealer was, it would overheat, sometimes we would find the seal was broken later when we went to get the packages out of the freezer. This method we're going to show you is much more dependable and uh, we, we just think it's superior to vacuum sealing and I think you'll see that yourself. So Marlene, tell them about the bags. Okay, these are 10 by 16 laminated barrier poultry shrink bags. They are 65 microns thick they're made especially, specifically for chickens or poultry. Um, they are USA made, yeah. they are BPA free, and we think they are the best yeah, these for are good. packaging our chickens. Yeah, they're the best for packaging your chickens. These are good quality bags. We feel very good about selling them. Did we tell them that we've sold over a million of these in the over past five million. years? That's a lot of bags. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's uh, show you the tools that we're going to use to make smaller bags out of these and um, get and package our poultry. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> Okay, well here's Marlene. She's going to show us, before we get into the tools and the techniques for freezing parts using our bags, Marlene's going to show you the finished product here. Okay. Okay, so we have some chicken here that's been all frozen. Um, we part up our chicken because there's just the two of us and we don't need a big whole chicken. Here is, actually this is half of a chicken breast. These two make the whole breast of a chicken. Okay. Our chickens this year were huge. They came out six and a half to eight pounds. So one breast, I weighed this, one half a breast is a pound, over a pound. So for Herrick and I, um, this is plenty of meat, just one half of a breast. <clears throat> then we have the thighs. I put four thighs in a package because if I'm gonna cook two, I might as well cook four. We can use it for soup, we can have it later in the week, whatever, okay? Here are two legs. These are the whole legs, the thigh and the drumstick. This is obviously the chicken doesn't have all these thighs, but I'm showing you how we do different packages mm -hmm. or different ways I want to cook. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. These are, uh, I want to show people good and hard. These are all frozen. Yeah. yeah. This is four drumsticks four very meaty drumsticks all packaged up. Right, we're going to uh, show people how we package drumsticks shortly, very shortly in this mm -hmm. video. And then we have wings. We don't just do a couple wings, we do a big patch mm -hmm. package of wings and then we can have a wing party yep. or we can have pizza and wings or yep. whatever. Well, that sounds good. They are awesome. Mm -hmm. Homemade wings are awesome. Okay. Now, this is liquid gold because once you make your own chicken stock, chicken broth, you won't go back to store-bought ever. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Okay, I use the recipe from the Ball Boo book, roughly. I rarely go by exact measurements. I just throw in what we have. You've come to that point. You're so good. You don't <laughs> even need the book anymore. I guess. Yeah. Um, celery, onions, bay leaves, peppercorns, salt. Yeah. Um, this is made from the backs and the necks. After we've parted up the chicken, we have the backs and the necks left. Mm -hmm. 
and I cook it down with those ingredients um, for several hours and um, then we strain it and I can it 25 pounds of 25 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure mm -hmm. and this is indispensable mm -hmm. we use it for soups soup base um, gravy um, sometimes we just drink it heated up by itself mm -hmm. when we don't feel good you just want a little broth mm -hmm. um, it's awesome special stuff right sometimes there I think this is my favorite part of chicken the, processing yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. There you have it. This is a PFS 300 impulse sealer. And this is what you need if you want to seal these poultry shrink bags and uh, take large bags and turn them into small bags, just like we're going to show you shortly. But this tool is so inexpensive, it's ridiculous. You can buy one today. I just looked for $26.99 with free shipping from eBay. It's a PFS 300, as I said. It's got a 12-inch um, ceiling bed there. And we've had this one since 2009. And the only thing that we've had go wrong with it is this uh, Teflon strip here and a heating element underneath held in place with two screws has uh, burned through. And you can see this one is starting to burn through again but the replacement elements are cheap. I think I paid $12.95 for six replacement elements with that Teflon strip. The whole thing is cheap and the whole thing works great. You gotta have one of these. And, uh, but I mean, for the price and for what it does, this is, it's not just cheap, it's an amazing value. The other tool you're going to need for packaging up your uh, poultry as a heat gun. After you've sealed the bags, you need to shrink them. And a heat gun will do it. Any heat gun will do it. A hair dryer doesn't have enough heat. You need a heat gun. Beyond that, you need a, uh, a sharp knife, sharp point, so you can pierce the bags with uh, a slit, quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. This knife works pretty well. And then you're gonna need a pair of scissors. That's it. Here is what the lovely Marlene is going to package for us today. These are four drumsticks that uh, came from chickens we raised this year. We raised 30 of them in the front yard in a chicken tractor. And um, we got about 200 pounds of meat, we figure. And uh, they, were, they were beautiful birds. So these drumsticks are what we're going to see now. Okay, Marlene, show us how you do this. Okay, so I'm gonna put four drumsticks arranged nicely and neatly into the bottom of this bag. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to seal it with the sealer. Alrighty. Now I'm going to put it in here and seal it as close to that top drumstick as possible. I'm going to press down until the light goes off mm -hmm. and then wait a second and then lift up. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to move the bag down just about an inch mm -hmm. and I'm going to reseal. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is making the bottom of a second bag. Smart. There we go. Now take my scissors and I'll just cut right down the middle of those two seams. Great. There we go. Yeah, let's take a close look at this. Show everybody how nicely that's sealed. Yeah. Simple. Good seal. It's great, Marlene. Now what? Okay, so now I have a second bag made from the top half of the original bag. And see that I have a new seal all ready. And I'm going to put four drumsticks in this half. Okay, boy, they're big drumsticks. I hope they fit. These are big drumsticks. These chickens this year came out much bigger, much heavier than yep. we usually get. They were beauties. We averaged from six and a half 
all the way to eight pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my new bag and it's gonna fit and seal perfectly. You gonna make it? So I'm going again, I'm gonna seal right close to that mm -hmm. top drumstick. Okay. I go down, wait for the light to go off, wait a second and then come up. And then I just do a little trimming. Okay, so before Marlene shrinks these, I want to just show how nice this package looks even before shrinking. It, uh, it's sealed tight and it's ready for you to do what you're going to do there, Marlene. Okay, it is sealed tight. However, the way it is now, there's a lot of air in there. With air comes freezer burn. So I'm going to shrink it up with this heat gun, which these bags are made for shrinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so I'm going to turn it on. What a rip. Now, I'll go around the edge. Just make a pass right around the edge of it. And what has created, been created, is a bubble in there. So I'll just carefully make a little slice, uh -huh. and then that will make air be released out of there. It Shrink. has a place to escape. Yeah, it shrinks tighter. Right, get okay, the back so side. Then we do the back side. Mm -hmm. Just gently, you don't put a lot of heat on there. If you overdo it, the hole opens up yeah. you know, too far. I can get little ears that might be stuck around. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we have a hole right. I, that we needs can see to it. be covered. Yeah, it's right there. A hole. It's kind of bigger than sometimes. Okay. So we put a freezer label. Mm -hmm. over it. Seals the air, seals it off. Seals it off. And tells us what we got. Huh? Okay, tells us what I got. Yeah. With our freezer labels that we sell, I cut them in half because I'm frugal and a half of a label is plenty. Uh -huh. I also always put the year because we have overlapping years of chicken in our freezer. So mm -hmm. I have the year and then what's in it and how many. Now, um, usually we just eat two drumsticks at a meal. It's plenty. But if I'm cooking two drumsticks, I might as well cook four or bake four because um, we can just have chicken a couple times that week or I can make soup out of the other two. We're all four. So we're all set for the freezer now. Lovely. Thank you, Marlene. And I'm Marlene Kimball. You just remember, you, you forgot your line, didn't you? <laughs> okay. This is, this is outtakes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball. And, and I'm Marlene Kimball. Yes, you are. And we're both here to tell you... <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball. This is our 57th take of this video. Who are you? And I'm Marlene Kimball. Right. We're, very, we're pretty relaxed right now. <laughs> okay. Let's try this, Marlene. <laughs> no, we haven't been drinking. Come on, it's recording. I got a tea. It won't pick it up. Oh, my God.